Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in this morning. We're going to be working on a piece. Uh, I don't know what it is. I forgot what it is. But uh, Dave from Conwood Creation sent it to me some time back, and he told me what it was, and I can't remember. Worse than nothing, I done forgot. Now I have to message him and see what it is. It kind of looks like birch. But, um, I just like it's moss. It's, I'd like to keep that on there if possible, but I don't know. We'll see. I got another piece over here, too. I'm going to try to get worked up at that extent. And I don't remember what it is either. He told me what it was. And uh, we'll, we'll get it figured out. But I don't know if the bark's going to stay on it. And we'll try our best to keep it on it. It's some super neat looking stuff. So let's get started on this and we'll see what happens. some pretty heavy sanding it had a bad tire out on it and I did some 80 grit and 150 and uh, 320 this thing turns real fast it, uh, it removes some wood pretty good anyway um I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to keep that moss on the bottom of the bowl and let it be a mossy bottom bowl. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get a hold of it so I can turn the bowl out, but I'm going to, I'm going to do something. Hit a screw there's of two inch long screws.
All right, I've cut down about an inch and a quarter on it. Probably ain't gonna go but three inches depth because we don't want to get into the bark stuff. Run that. We'll get go back going on it. It's a little bit lopsided, but maybe we'll do something to it.
All right, there it is. I finally got them finished up. Uh, I think it turned out pretty neat. Even if the inside of it is a little lopsided. It kind of reminded me of a bird nest for some reason. Um, I guess because I've got moss on the bottom of it. Uh, it's the first time I ever did a bow with moss on it as far as I can remember. But uh, I believe it out of bark will stay intact pretty good because it's got a real good bond with the wood there. There is air gap in a place or two, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. I didn't have no place to sign it, so I just kind of had to sign it close to the um, bark bottom, or it's connected there, but anyway this this piece of wood was i'd messaged dave and it was a big leaf maple that's what it was it's some pretty cool looking wood it's got some pretty colors in it i'll get this other one over here this in here was uh european birch um, it, where I put that, I put CA glue in it to hold this bark on, and it had such air gaps in it. And I only had black CA glue, so it looked like I don't know what in there. So I thought I would add some black glaze to it to try to blend it in, make it look kind of rustic. Where Dave cut it with the chainsaw, I didn't, uh, I just sanded that a little bit and left his chainsaw marks in there and let the glaze kind of lay in there. I tried to blend it in and had quite a bit of bug holes in it. And uh, I did is I coated it with some shellac, brush on shellac and sanded it and then sprayed some canned slack over it. And the ink, I stabilized the ink in with some lacquer because when you put shellac over ink, it dissolves the ink. But if you stabilize it with lacquer, whatever the salinity of lacquer is, it don't have any effect on the ink. So I do that. Then I coat it with shellac. But anyway, I wish I wouldn't have sprayed the bark with the shellac. I tried to keep it off because it kind of made it yellowy. And I liked the, the, it was just a lighter color on the bark. I guess that's about it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to leave me a comment. Enjoy hearing from you and uh, try to get something else going here for too long. I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good one.